Hey guys, this is Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger. This is Austin St. John. And you are watching that hashtag show. You better pay attention. Joe here with Valerie Vernon, the pink Lost Galaxy Ranger, Kendricks. How are you? Doing good today, thanks. All right, so this is awesome. This is your first time on our show, which is great. Um, I liked Kendricks for mainly because you were one of the smartest female rangers. Yes. Well, Kinda set a president. Scientific ranger, yeah, yeah. But you also got your hands dirty. Got my hands dirty, yeah. You just showed me your personal pictures and a lot of uh, Kendricks with dirt on her face. I know, I know. She wasn't afraid to get dirty, but she was also feminine, and uh, I liked that she was the scientific ranger, so she definitely was smart, and she was the first um, ranger, girl ranger, to wear glasses on the show at that point. That's true. She was a like a brainiac. That's right. Um, let me ask you, how did you how did you like working on the show? I loved working on the show. Um, I loved the cast members. The crew, everybody was amazing. Um, we all worked really well together, and we were like a family. You know, we became very close because we were together all day long. So it's fantastic. That's awesome. Um, and you still do keep in touch with most of all of them. I do. I do. As a matter of fact, I just got a text me text message from Serena and uh, Danny and and Melody. We're gonna go out tonight for dinner, so it's good. And Reggie too. Reggie, we're we're all close still. Have you seen a, I know uh, from your perspective, have you seen a resurgence in the popularity of Power Rangers doing these conventions and stuff? I have, and uh, I just think that some people that watched the show a long time ago, now they're ha they have kids, and their kids are watching the show, and it's, it's nostalgic, and it's fun, and um, it's great to see people coming back after all these years and saying how much they enjoyed it. Have your kids seen you be a Power Ranger? Uh, yes, yeah, they, uh, they're they starting to watch the DVD and, and they're enjoying it. My daughter, she she said since I'm the Pink Power Ranger, she wants to be the Diamond Ranger since there was no Diamond Ranger on our show. So she's really into it now too and it's fun. Now there's going to be a Diamond Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's awesome. So now, I mean, that's that's true. Like a lot of a lot of people that started off watching up kids now and now a new whole new people, new generation of people are watching Power Rangers. That's pretty cool. Um, we know you left the show for a while, but then you came back. And you told me earlier that you got asked to come back for the reunion show. Uh, and you couldn't do it because of your kids. I'm gonna ask you officially now, if there was a forever pink, would you be in? I would really be in, yeah. I'm I'm in. A hundred percent if they asked me, I would be there. Yeah, I would be in. Yeah, I, I would be honored. I really would. Yeah. That's awesome. So you you loved your experience that much. I did. I really loved it. And I still love it. It's great. It really is. Let me ask you something. Where do you think Kendricks is now? If, if you had wrote, wrote Kendricks, where do you think she is now in the Power Ranger universe? Hmm, I don't know. I think she's probably still doing experiments and scientific studies in her, her science lab somewhere, trying to figure out how to how to save the world from evil. How good's your Power Ranger knowledge? I don't know. You can test me and we'll find out. Let's test you and find out. Question number one. What was your character's last name? Morgan. Kendricks Morgan. Question number two, what was your season's theme song? Power Rangers, Lost Galaxy, far, far away. <laughs> that was good, that was good. It's very good. What were the uh, henchmen in your season called? The first season had putties, what were yours? Okay, we were the Stingwingers. We had the Stingwingers. What city did your season take place in? TerraVenture. It's also correct. Um, if you had to choose any four Rangers to be on your Power Ranger team that weren't in your cast, who would you choose? That wasn't in my cast. Oh my goodness, uh, Power Rangers. Um, I liked, I don't know what her name was on uh, the space, but I liked Patricia. She's, Patricia, yeah. She's cool. Um, the newest one, I don't know what her name is though. The current Dino Charge one or the Super Mega Force one? I think it's the Super Mega Force. Christina Masterson. Okay. And then two more. Amy Jo Johnson. I'm seeing a theme here. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be all pink. Um. <laughs> Just name one more pink ranger. Hmm. What was the other one? Okay, SCD. 
SPD. You have your own pink team. Uh, do you want to uh, answer some fan questions? Perfect. Guys, so we're back at Valley Vernon, and uh, we have fan questions for you. Ready? This is the first. Hello, I am Jason Ferguson, otherwise known as Jason Ranger, and my question goes out to uh, Christopher Carmen Lee, Danny Salvin, Valley Vernon, Melody Perkins, and Daniel Southworth. My question is, while filming, or just after filming your seasons, were you recognised by a fan for, for your role in, that se in, the, in your season? And what are some the, the, the highlights you can remember at, from that? Or if you can't name from that at the moment, just the name of examples that you have them. So, uh, thank you for um, taking time to answer my question and I'll be signing it. to hear him but it sounded like he wanted to know what was our fan experience fan experience um yeah the fan experience has been amazing i just feel like our fans are really really loyal and um it's fantastic i mean i, I can't believe that after all of these years that people are still coming up and saying hi and i mean honestly i didn't think i was going to be remembered after all of these years and I know I, I did Morphicon a few years ago. That was my first. And I remember saying to my family, I don't know if anybody's even going to care to get an autograph. Um, <laughs> so this has been um, a very humbling experience. Just very, very shocking that anybody would ever even want my autograph or even want to come by and say hi. And and um, I just feel so honored. And I, I don't even know what to say. There are no words. It's just I'm... So thankful people still like the show after all these years. I mean, you're a part of a legacy now. I know, and I can't believe that. That's crazy. <laughs> you ready for your next one? Hi, my name is Omar Cabrera. Um, my question to you guys is, who is your idol? Who did you guys look up to when you were a little kid or who you look up to today? It could be anybody, a character or a person. Because I know when I was sick with cancer, I was, I admired you guys and I looked up to you guys and you guys are my idols. So thank you very much and thank you for answering my question. Have a nice day. Thanks, Hashtag Show. You guys are awesome. Bye. Um, the person, I know it sounds kind of funny, but um, my idol growing up, I wanted to be a singer. And so my idol was Julie Andrews. Um, yeah, Mary Poppins and Sound of Music. And so I watched it over and over and over again. And she kind of inspired me to be a singer. And so I started out that way before I did the acting. And I really wanted to do theater. And I thought that that would be the way that I would go with my life. And it, it turned another way for me. But um, anyway, that's the person that was my idol growing up. Not a bad idol, idol, Mary Poppins herself. <laughs> right. I'm a little Disney, what can I say? <laughs> hey, we're right here by Disneyland, why not? Um, you talked to me a little bit about your personal uh, photo book of Power Ranger uh, Lost Galaxy photos, which was pretty awesome. You showed me a lot of those pictures. Uh, I'm sure that conjures up a lot of memories, right? Oh, yeah. When I, I don't look at it very often, but when I do take it out, it, uh, it definitely brings up memories of the past, and, and they're all good, and it's... They're great pictures too. If you want to take a look at them, you're welcome to. And we will. Oh, we will. <laughs> it was awesome having you. Thank you so much for talking with us. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. Thank you so much for interviewing me and being a part of this. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Melody Perkins, who played Astronema on uh, Power Rangers in Space and Corone in Power Rangers. Las Gaste, actually Corone in Power Rangers in Space also. Yes, I was always Corone, that's for sure. That was, now Power Rangers in Space, you were obviously a villain, right? Right, I started out as a villain, yes. Is that more fun? Uh, secretly, but I guess not secretly, yes. <laughs> it was very fun because she was so eccentric and I really, it's so against my nature to be that way. So, yeah, it was so much fun being bad. 
And then you came back for Power Rangers uh, Lost Galaxy. How did they actually get you to come back or uh, contact you for uh, playing Corona as the Pink Ranger? You know, I had just moved to L.A. and um, they literally just called me out of the blue and said, we are looking for someone, would you be interested in doing this? And of course, the storyline was so perfect to have Astronomer come back. So I did, I and mean, it was so much fun the second time around. You know, what's crazy is that Power Rangers Lost Galaxy storyline where you take over for Kendricks, I felt like there was a, it felt like at the time I was in high school and it felt like, oh, this is a little bit more of an adult show now. It's going, kind of going dark. It did, yeah, I feel like, and I, I think the producers really intentionally did that. It, they kind of started within space and they took it into a, a kind of a, they, they added some depth to the storyline. I really appreciated that. It was fun because Astronomer got to have this really, this big development of her character. Yeah, because your character as Crone to Astronomer, back to Crone, that's a huge story arc for two seasons. And uh, you actually acted with two different Power Ranger casts, uh, and both were bo both were great in their own. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, gosh, everyone's amazing. Do you have any fun cast stories for either show? <laughs> well, there were always fun cast stories. You know, we were always acting ridiculous, but, um, yeah, nothing specific. I mean, there's a lot of, like, you know, private jokes <laughs> going on. A lot of weird, like, dance moves things that, you know, you'd have to see to believe, but um, <laughs> always good fun. You also came back for the uh, Super Mega Force big reunion battle season. How was that? I did. Oh my gosh. I loved it. it was, that was kind of really, I hate to say, but that was really the first time that I realized how incredible the, the entire Power Rangers franchise is, like, it, and how honored I was to be a part of it, you know? Um, it was really special. It was a very like um, powerful time to have everyone come back together. That's amazing. It really was. It, it's like everyone was just watching each other. And it's like we were all so happy to be with each other. It's special. Besides, um, I guess you actually knew a few people going into it because you know Danny Slavin and um, Selwyn Ward and Patricia. So you knew a lot of them coming back. Did you know any of the other ones like Jason David Frank or any of them? I did not actually. I met them all there, but it's like it, it was like we all kind of shared this commonality, so right away we became, you know, it was so easy to find each other, you know? That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, so we're going to take some fan questions for you. You ready? Here we go. Here's the first one. Hi, my question is for Melody Perkins. Did you like playing Astronomer more or Corona? <laughs> Well, I uh, have to be honest, I loved playing Astronema. Yeah, she was awesome. And it was a real, a, a huge challenge for me to actually be a villain. So, and so the learning curve was very steep in the beginning. So, <laughs> yeah, definitely Astronema. So it's always good to be bad, so they say. Ready for question two? Yeah. Hi, my name is Omar Cabrera. Um, my question to you guys is, who is your idol? Who did you guys look up to when you were a little kid or who you look up to today? It could be anybody, a character or a person. Because I know when I was sick with cancer, I was, I, admired you guys and I looked up to you guys and you guys are my idols so thank you very much and thank you for answering my question have a nice day thanks hashtag show you guys are awesome bye wow that's really special and gosh I am honored to have someone look up to us and our characters in that way um gosh I would say that the person that I look up to the most and I know a lot of people say this but it's my mother she oh, she is so special she's like an angel that walks the earth in my opinion and I didn't realize that when I was younger of course I was typical yeah <laughs> but now I just realize how selfless she was and how much she gave and she is always there for me um, and she's just the kindest person I know so whenever I think of someone that when I need that extra support, it's my mother. That's amazing. Yeah, she's beautiful. All right, one more. Hello, 
I am Jason Terrence, otherwise known as Jason Ranger, and my question goes out to uh, Christopher Carmine, Danny Salvin, Valerie Vernon, Melody Terrence, and Daniel Southworth. My question is, while filming, or just after filming your seasons, were you recognised by a fan for, for your role? Wow, um, I have to say that I was not recognized uh, very often. Yeah, it was interesting. I think um, definitely, well, in space, I, I was always in my astronomer garb, so definitely not then. Yes, of course. Um, Last Galaxy, not so much, but in terms of highlights, I would have to say that the first episode where I entered into that series was awesome. It was so cool to be able to be astronomer again and to be so comfortable with it and then to transition into the Pink Ranger was incredible. That was so special. It's awesome. Now you're part of a legacy, which is great. Um, and we loved you on the show, so thank you so much for your time. Chris, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Great. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Joe with That Hashtag Show. I am here with the lovely Serena Vincent from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, Maya, the Yellow Ranger. That was a lot to say. It was, it was, you, you said everything correctly though. I did, I did. I'm just, for having me. Thank you for being here. It's your first time here. Um, I do have to ask you, how was it working with your cast in Power Rangers Lost Galaxy? Working, my cast in Lost Galaxy, it, it, it was amazing. It was like, I want to say it was like college for me. Like these, they're like lifelong friends and it was my first series. So I learned a lot about the film business, first of all, and then second, like, my cast, like, we, we just bonded. Um, you know, we're like family. We had a big, we were all together at Morphicon recently, and, and it does, it feels like your old college buddies, the people you went to high school with, it, like, it's just like you're forever connected. Any fun set stories that you can tell? I've always heard from, I think it was uh, Reggie that would tell me that there was a lot of fun stories that you guys had. Anything you can share? Yeah, they, well, the boys were always, like, messing around and joking and, like, playing jokes on us. And I was a little bit, everybody was a bit older than I was. I was the youngest on the show. Like, they all could, like, go out drinking after work, and I wasn't 21 yet. And so they had a different kind of fun than, like, you know, they were, like, Power Rangers that were going to the Playboy Mansion after rap. Am I allowed to say that? And um, I, you know, was not doing that. <laughs> but... We, yeah, we had a blast. They were always sort of like playing practical jokes and the things that boys will do. Were you treated like a little sister on set? I was. I, I was. I did feel like a little sister. I was also pretty shy and I was new to the business and like some of them, some of the guys had worked before, some of them hadn't, but I was like kind of like wide-eyed and naive and I was soaking everything up and they were, I was a little bit intimidated at first, um, but then we all like bonded together and like I said, we're lifelong friends now. But I feel like there's a lot about like who I was as a person it was very aligned with who my character was on the show. Oh, that's really interesting actually. So you can say you can say that you related a lot to Maya's character and you've discovered a lot in yourself because of that character? Well, I just feel like Maya was very intuitive and, and um, grounded and sort of like would, would step back and just like watching the whole thing and it's like life and hitting art and hitting life like I feel like that's sort of like who I was in that moment but I was also sort of like watching how it all worked because it was my first series yeah that's super cool well let me ask you a question how much do you actually remember about your your season of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy I don't remember a lot I, you know I'm on a new show now for Disney called Stuck in the Middle, and I'm with the mother of seven kids on this show, so I've got seven children on my show. A lot of kids. It's a lot of kids, they're awesome. But I tell them every day, I'm like, so please stop, remember these moments, because if you don't actively try to like memorize something, you're gonna forget as you grow. And like, how much do you remember from when you were 18? A lot that I wanna, a lot that I'd like to forget. I'm, I'm in my 30s now. So like, you do remember the day-to-day -day life at 19, 20? And so I don't either. There's a lot of episodes that like fans will come up and be like, "Do you remember when you were doing that?" And I'm like, "No, no, I don't." 
You know, we're buying a flash, I'm sure. So you're exhausted. We shot like you know we're working like 16 hours a day and I'm so tired. And sometimes we're shooting a few episodes at once, so it was like hard to keep track of. And if there was a Saturday on Saturday morning, I was not getting up at 8:30 a.m. to watch Power Rangers. I was sleeping in because I was so tired. From at the time, did you ever watch any of your stuff? I mean, I tried to, but again, like if it was on once a week, I wasn't up in the morning watching it, I was sleeping in because it looked so hard. So I didn't, I don't remember all of the details, but overall, I of course remember the experience, and I'm so grateful. Let's play a fun little game. Okay. All right. What was your character's, or your character didn't have a last name, but if your character did have a last name, what would it be? If my character had a last name, what would it be? <laughs> um, wow. Well, she's, she's like the ethnic girl, so... If I'm, yeah, so I feel like, um, Mangella. <laughs> Why did you, how did you come up with that? Because it's a family name. Oh, okay, cool. I was like, wow. There's a really interesting mafia story behind it, but I won't go into that on camera. Um, what was your series theme song? What was my theme song? Uh, power, would you like sing it? Yeah, you play it for me. But I can't. I'll start it off. Power Rangers. Galaxy. Far away. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Close enough. Close enough. Um, do you remember? All right, so the first season had putties. Putties? The first season had the putty patrol. Okay. What was your season's, like, um, punchman? Are you. Wait, is this, like, is this a test? Kind of. It's easy, though. Henchman? My henchman? The, the, the thing we are? Oh, good job. High five. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's what's fictional city did your season take place in? Um, well, I, um, um, we were in a lost galaxy, but um, I'm from the planet Miranoi that was destroyed. The mega ship. Well, the Terra Venture. The Terra Venture. Oh. You were close. To the mega ship on the Terra. If you can choose any four other Rangers that weren't in your season to be on your power Rangers team, who would they be? David Yost. David Yost, Walter, Jadia. We'll go with that. Yes. Okay. But I said David Yost twice because I really love him. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Maybe you guys can do a little mashup if they did a Power Ranger Big Giant reunion episode. But thank you so much for your time. And what was the show you have coming up now? Stuck in the Middle. It's on Disney. Stuck in the Middle on Disney. I play, uh, I play Susie Diaz, the mama of seven amazing children, um, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot, it's like a big family show, it, it means the world to me. All these seven kids always get into hijinks, and you're like the mom that's like, kid. Oh, like, on and off the set, I mean, on, sorry, in the, in the show is about, like, this chaotic family, and, um, and, but then, yeah, uh, um, off the set, too, like, we're like a real family, you know, everybody sort of bickers and then makes up, like, we love each other, and, um, and then bicker, you know. Yeah. I think it's really cool, though, that you can uh, kind of take your experience from Power Rangers, since that was, like, your first thing, and you were so young, and kind of instilled that to these young kids. Yeah, I hope they're listening. <laughs> that age who really is right i'm always like when you're a tv mommy you'll understand so I well thank you so much for your time it was a pleasure meeting you you're amazing thank you